welcome back to the channel and in today's video we are going to talk about the x9s this is the improved version of the x9 so i already unpacked it so i'm going to show you what comes inside this package it comes a little cute power adapter this one comes with a piece of toilet manual like always with some basic explanations what can you do with the system a usb cable for charging for the other regions and here we got some crappy headphones but all right it comes in a nice box of course and um, let's see what we're going to get with the system because i'm very curious what did they improve is it better this time all right let's do a little bit of an overview of the system here at the left side we are finding the d-pad and analog stick here you can make your personal choice how you want to control the character in the game the d-pad itself is not great for fighting games i already noticed so keep that one in mind the unlock stick feels quite nice for a cheap device like this and here at the right side we are finding four control buttons volume select and start and at the top we are finding an on and off switch a little slot for entering a cf card so you can expand your memory if i'm correct the maximum was 32 gigabyte usb b really old school port but here you can charge and transfer data and here we have the old school jack for audio out and tv out and at the back we are finding a little crappy camera all right the first thing that i'm noticing when holding the system it's quite heavy in the previous model it feels a little bit light and cheap so it seems to be that they are using better materials my right. All right, the menu is totally different this time. They did improve the menu or improve, they changed it. If it's a big improvement, I don't know. It's a little bit weird of choice because you get these little thumbnails where you can play games, but I didn't figure out how you can change them for your favorite games, for example. Um, here we have 3D games. Uh, that's a lot of games mixed up together. GBA and just games. All right, this, I think that's all of the games, but all right, let's take another collection of thumbnails all right all games of course we can use it like a stopwatch recording uh, playing videos uh, listening to music but we are going to focus in this video on the games itself this is the main menu you are going to get every time when you want to load up a game restart or just starting a game or reboot it return to the game so if you want to go back to menu and go back to the game you can just return to the game and you can save and load every game so that is pretty damn awesome the first game we are going to try is the battle city game sounds right if you ask me So the X9S is not a really big improvement. When you're looking at the previous model, yeah, it feels a little bit heavier. It feels a little bit more quality, but don't get me wrong. It's still a cheap product. 
In overall, this is not to be compared with on PlayStation Portable or on PS Vita. The emulation itself is not that great. But this is what you're going to get in general with these cheap handhelds from China. You can find them on AliExpress, Wish, everywhere. And in the end, it doesn't matter what kind of name or most of the time how they are looking. These cheap models like the X6, X9, X12 are basically the same, only with a tiny different touch to it. So one, thank you for watching. Consider subscribing, hit the bell, become one of the Wicked family. And I will see you in the next video.